Good evening and welcome to this edition of News Leader on 6. Today is Tuesday, August the 2nd, 2011. I'm Jim Fuller. In tonight's news, several Summitville residents had to be evacuated Saturday due to a huge fire at a biodiesel facility in their community. A lightning strike causes a fire at Continental Apartments in Tullahoma on Saturday, and the Tullahoma mayor's race is heating up as Election Day nears. We'll have these stories and more on tonight's News Leader on 6. Tullahoma Drug has a gift for keeping well. You know about prescriptions, but there's so much more to tell. There's a gift for all occasions, for body, soul, and mind, cards to show you care, gifts to show your kind. There are remedies and recipes and treats, you'll want to eat them, stacks of books from famous cooks and spectacles to read them, shades and frames, puzzles, games, dishes, plates and mugs. We're a Tullahoma treasure. We are Tullahoma Drug. Tullahoma Surgery Center is Tullahoma's newest and most complete surgical health care facility. The center combines state-of-the-art surgical care with efficient, affordable, and community-based outpatient service. The staff is committed to providing the highest quality care in a warm, personalized setting. The goal is to deliver excellent care and make your visit a pleasant experience. Telehoma Surgery Center, the area's premier surgery center dedicated to outpatient surgery. The tent is up at Stan McNabb Chevrolet, and that means the model year wrap-up sale is now in progress. It's been a great year for Stan McNabb and Chevrolet. Five Consumer Digest Best Buy Awards, North America Car of the Year, and five top safety picks. Our best model year ever. And check out this award-winning 2011 Chevy Silverado Extended Cab. Drive it off our lot for only $22,777. Best of all, we have a great supply of 2011 models, but they're going fast. So take advantage of the model year wrap-up tent sale at Stan McNabb Chevrolet today. This is J.D. Oliver here at the Smokehouse on Mont Eagle Mountain. My sisters Betsy, Nancy, and I would like to thank you for supporting our family business for over 50 years. Hello, this is Stella Parton, and I am standing here right in the middle of Jim Oliver's Smokehouse Restaurant. But you need to come in here. We just got through doing a show. We also have a music scene going on here, and I want to invite you to come down because it is your mountain destination. Music on the mountain in Mont Eagle, Tennessee. My name's Betsy Oliver. I'm the kitchen manager here. We serve a lot of ribs and barbecue and fried chicken. Hey, this is Sean Mayer, and I just want to let everybody know to stop in at the Smokehouse if you're ever on your way to Chattanooga or Nashville. They not only have a great gift shop, awesome food, great entertainment on Saturday nights, but beautiful cabins to stay in. Check it out. Make the Smokehouse your mountain getaway destination. Stay in one of our 84 lodge rooms and 20 timber frame log cabins. Look around our trading posts and eat in our delicious restaurant. Enjoy music on the mountain every Saturday night featuring the best of Nashville. Our family hopes to see you this year at Jim Oliver Smokehouse. Welcome back. A massive blaze along with several explosions leveled a rural biodiesel facility and evacuated some residents in the Summitville community Saturday afternoon. The fire was reported around 12.30 p.m. Saturday at the Tennessee Bioenergy Plant located on Shady Grove Road in Summitville as more than 60,000 gallons of ethanol was burning. More than 100 firemen from Summitville, Manchester, Hillsboro, Hickerson Station, New Union, and Tullahoma and and AEDC responded to the fire that engulfed the facility for more than eight hours. The Summitville Volunteer Fire Department is located across the street from the facility. Two workers and two dogs were able to evacuate the facility without serious injury. Though the official cause of the fire is yet to be determined, workers suspect the fire began by a small electrical charge which ignited the fuel. At one point during the fire firefight, crews had to move back 500 feet due to the dangerous fumes from the methanol tanks that were exploding inside. By 9 p.m., residents were allowed back in their homes after environmental crews cleaned up the scene. Tennessee Bioenergy was originally owned and operated by Richard and Frank Ondecker of Manchester until the brothers sold the facility to a group of New York investors two years ago. The company, according to its website, produces B99 and B100 biodiesel fuel. The plant is also a large producer of refined glycerin. 
Tullahoma firefighters were dispatched to Continental Apartments on Saturday to extinguish a fire which apparently was started by a lightning strike. Building K resident Ronnie Murray said a lightning strike sometime Saturday morning between 10.30 and 11 o'clock destroyed several electronic components in his apartment. Later, Murray and others residents smelled smoke and the fire department was called. Firefighters were aided in their efforts by a broken water line in the attic of the building which helped to keep the uh, fire abated. I spoke with Tullahoma Fire Chief Richard Chassine, who provided more details. It's kind of a confined space. You've got to go up in a little scuttle hole in the attic, get through a closet to get to it, so it's a pretty tight space, but they're in there seeing what they can find. Okay, all right, thank you, good luck. Okay, thanks. Are you concerned that it might spread right now, Richard? Or you well, that's like what we're trying to do cut? is locate it and confine it and uh, get it put out before it goes throughout the attic. Uh, the good thing about this location is we've got a firewall separating all the way from the ground, all the way out the roof, uh, so it's containing it to uh, the apartments on the left side. We feel like we're pretty safe to the apartments in the J building, but all of K building, and it's considered an exposure right now, so we're trying to confine and extinguish it before it spreads. Are the firewalls in an apartment uh, complex is it, uh, standard code items now? They, they are now, uh, and actually when these were built, they did a very good job of separating those uh, those apartment units. Uh, you've got uh, eight units on the left side that are that are all together. Now we are in the attic of the upstairs apartments, so hopefully there will be zero damage to all the downstairs apartments. And uh, anywhere we do put water on, we will uh, confine it to that area and try to uh, prevent any damage from water. Uh, we feel like most of the smoke and possibly the fire is in the attic at this time. Thanks. Okay. And we'll be right back in a moment with more News Leader on 6. It is time. It is time to love her. It is time to celebrate her. It is time to honor her. It is time to surprise her. It is time to blow her away with a diamond. It is time for quality. It's time for value. It's time for selection. It's time for Woodard's Diamond Showroom inside Northgate Mall of Tullahoma. There's one place women of all ages can find the care they need. The Women's Center at Hartman Regional Medical Center. We're a full-service women's center with comprehensive obstetrical and gynecological surgery. Our excellent customer satisfaction rate is a reflection of our commitment to excellence. To serve you even better, we've now remodeled our facility. Our family-friendly birth center features private labor, delivery, and recovery suites. For every stage of your life, we're there for you. The Women's Center at Hartman Regional Medical Center. So I have some news. I, I wanted to call you first. We found out what we're gonna have today. We're having a boy. I know, I know. Let it all in with Charter Phone and get unlimited nationwide calling. Welcome back. Tullahoma Alderman Greg Sandlin appears to have made an 11th hour endorsement of incumbent Mayor Troy Bisbee in the Tullahoma mayor's race. In an email released to the media on Saturday, Alderman Sandlin said, quote, As a sitting alderman, I had intended to appear neutral in the mayor's race. However, Lane Curley's tax lien issue has so offended me, I felt compelled to inform the voters. I have always liked Lane personally and, pl and applauded his efforts to feed the hungry and assist struggling families. However, I believe there should be standards 
standards for those who seek to lead us in government. One of those standards is that you pay your taxes, end quote. Alderman Sandlin apparently is referring to a lien filed July 5th by the Treasury Department on property owned by former Mayor Lane Curley as a result of a nine-year-old liability on a failed business Curley was an investor in but was not, an active in, was not active in the management of the business and was not the person responsible for paying the taxes at the time. Curley said, quote, the Treasury Department has filed a lien on our house as we are the only partner with assets. That does not seem fair, but of course life is, an, is often unfair, end quote. Curley commented further saying, quote, this is not news, but rather a chapter of a nine-year-old issue, which by the way was made public by the local media at the time it occurred and disclosed by me as well at the start of this campaign for mayor and a mailer sent to every home in Tullahoma. The lien is a routine matter and will be removed once negotiations are complete and payment is made. It is not my intent now, nor has it ever been to avoid paying these taxes end quote. Curley sa said that if he could have paid only his share of the tax liability, which would have been one-third the amount the Treasury Department is seeking, he would have done so years ago. Curley has responded to the matter to both the Saturday Independent and the Tullahoma News. An ad in the Sunday edition of the Tullahoma News explains in detail the entire process was, which led to this lien being filed. The latest financial disclosures for the Tullahoma mayor's race have been released by the Coffee County Election Commission. Incumbent Mayor Troy Bisbee has raised $6,222 for his re-election bid, while challenger Lane Curley has garnered $16,723 to support his bid to unseat Bisbee. A breakdown of these contributions revealed that $3,050, or 49% of Mayor Bisbee's donations have come from donations over $100, while three $3,170 or 51% came from contributions of less than $100. $5,300 or 32% of Lane Curley's contributions came from donations of $100 or more, while the balance of $11,723 or 68% came from donations of $100 or less. Early voting for the Tullahoma elections ended Saturday. The Election Commission reported that 1,555 Tullahoma voters cast their ballots early. That is 728 fewer ballots cast than the last mayor's race in 2008 when 2,283 residents voted early. And we do want to remind you that we'll bring you complete election coverage of, of Thursday night's uh, election returns live right here on Charter Channel 6 starting at 7 p.m. We'll be right back in just a moment after these messages. I'm Lori Thompson. I'm Mike Thompson, and Lori and I have bought Thompson Ford back in Tullahoma, Tennessee on Highway 55, selling new Fords and used vehicles and plenty of service in the service department. You guys have supported us 100%. We appreciate everything you've done for us. Look forward to 10 years worth of support. We can't wait to support you guys again. Give it back to the communities of Thompson Ford Way. Come see Mike and Lori. Thank you very much. Thank you for blessing us. God bless America. Our office used to look like this. But now, with my paper-free office from RJ Young, it's easy. We've made all of our files electronic and stored them in our virtual filing cabinet, which gave us tons of space. And Bob here, a big promotion. Melissa can pull files in minutes and spends hours on Facebook. And Kyle's confidential uh, files stay confidential. Uh, we're not totally paper-free, right? Thank you. My paper-free office from RJ Young. It's that easy. Whether it's a home loan, a business loan, a personal loan, a loan for any good reason, Citizens Tri-County Bank is here to help you with the loans you need. With caring, friendly, lending pros at convenient offices across Tullahoma, we love our community and we take pride in helping people get the loans they need. Citizens Tri-County Bank, focused on making loans for the individuals and businesses of our community. 